Hello again, I'm Dr. Scott Peck and welcome to the first peace skill, Envision Peace. Now this is a huge skill and this is primarily what most people cannot do. And if you cannot do this, you can't be a peacemaker. So let's dive into this. Remember the Berlin Wall? We thought that would be up there forever. And all of a sudden it fell down and now the East and West Germans are a unified country. Before that happened it was hard to envision. We have civil rights in this country because of all the work that Martin Luther King and others did to bring that about. They had the vision of what was required and then it came. If you're a woman listening to me right now, you have the right to vote in the United States. And for many, many years, women did not have that right to vote. That was a conflict. And someone had to envision that that was possible. So the key to peace is to envision the solution, even when you don't know how in the world you're going to get there. That's the secret. That's the first big secret of being a love master who's creating peace. So, for example, looking at conflict that might be within you. You might be stuck at work uh, and you don't like your job. You can't figure out, how am I ever going to get out of this? And it's causing you conflict. You may be overweight and it's driving you nuts and you just can't figure out how to get beyond that. You may have a physical problem that seems like unrelenting. It won't go away. You don't know how to get past it. So that's conflict within ourselves. In the area of relationships, you may have a conflict right within your marriage or your, with your daughter or son that seems unsolvable. You may have a relationship with another family member. Those are always big places for conflicts or with someone at work. In all of these cases, the secret that we need to just begin the process is to envision peace. So, let's go back to that being stuck in work. And let's just say that's me. I'm stuck. I feel like I'm stuck in work, or that's you. If we were envisioning peace, what would it look like? Well, it would look like we were either happy in our work and not feeling stuck anymore, or we had moved out of that work and we were doing something that we really loved to do. And what if we were overweight? How would we envision that? Well, I would envision that I felt good about myself and that I felt like I was losing weight or that, or that I was at the right weight and I felt good about myself. And what about if we had a physical problem? Well, I envisioned myself not even having that physical problem even more. But in every one of these situations, especially if this is real for you, it looks impossible. We don't know how. How can we envision when we don't know how? There is the key. You don't have to know how. You don't even want to know how. All you need to do is envision peace. We look out on the world today, we have the Arab-Israeli conflict. It looks like it'll never be solved. If you try to figure out how, you just go down path after path of failure. But I envision a time when the Israelis and the Arab populations around them, the Palestinians, will be living in peace. I'm holding that vision because I'm a peacemaker because that's the first step to envision peace. I don't know how it's going to happen, when it's going to happen, but I'm envisioning that as a possibility and a genuine outcome. So, how would we envision having a conflict within our own marriage? Well, I envision, wow, just I envision the conflict going away. Now, interestingly enough, sometimes the outcome is not what you think it'll be. The outcome of a bad marriage might be a divorce, and that might be a good thing, not a bad thing. Another outcome might be healing, so that the, check, the conflict within the relationship disappears. So what I'm envisioning for anybody who's in an intimate relationship where there's conflict, I'm envisioning that you are receiving the love you deserve and you're giving the love you deserve so that you're living without conflict. In fact, you're living in the most happy place of intimate relationships because that's the love you deserve. How, what that's going to look like and how you're going to get there, I don't even care because my job right now at step one is to envision that possibility. And as you envision it, it feels good to envision that. 
You might say, yeah, but I have to know how. No, you don't need to know how. Without the vision, there will never be a how. So your first step, and believe me, this is just step one of 12 things that we're going down, is, is so critical and it's such a wonderful opportunity because here's the delightful thing. To envision peace requires no one else. I could be in terrible conflict with you and we might be angry at each other or I might be very disheartened or unhappy in our relationship together. But I don't need to engage you and say, come on, will you join this peace process with me and will you envision peace with me? No, that's not the way it works because you're trying to do something there. This envisioning peace is all about what's going on secretly within your own heart, your own consciousness. So if you and I were having a struggle, the very best thing I could do was to personally and privately envision peace. That I'm thinking, you and I, our relationship's going to get better and better and better and flower into joy. Or perhaps our relationship's going to end. But either way, you're going to be happier, I'm going to be happier. I'm envisioning peace for myself at a very high level. So that's exciting to know that you don't have to be appointed a peacemaker and you don't need anybody's approval. This is why this is such a powerful first step. You're the one and only you that decides whether you want to take the first step towards peace. Most people frankly can't get past this stage. So if you can't get to this stage of peace building, you might as well not even watch the rest of the videos because they won't do any good. This is absolutely critical and I understand how hard it is. I understand it so well that I want to give you an assignment and ask you not to go on and look at the next video until you have taken several days to practice envisioning peace. For example, identify the conflicts that are going on in your life, within yourself, conflicts that you're having, and conflicts with others. And get a yellow pad out and start envisioning peace. Remember, not how, we don't care how, we don't even look if it's possible, we're not measuring how possible do you think it is. Think in terms of unlimited possibilities. That's what a peacemaker does. It is possible because love is possible. Infinite love is opening our thoughts all the time. So practice this. And then as you go as you read the news, you'll see you'll read news about you know somebody hating somebody and this problem and this war and this conflict with some, some divorce of a celebrity or you know or something going on in your life. Every time something comes up that's a conflict, practice envisioning peace. Notice how good it feels in your heart that you can actually are thinking beyond the garbage that you're thinking beyond the conflict. Someone has to do that, and that's you. you. You're here listening to this videotape because you want to be, or you are, a peacemaker. Envisioning peace is like earning the first badge of a peacemaker. <laughs> it's fun to do, and it has just fabulous results. But everything else that I'm going to teach you, skill 2 through 12, are all outcomes of a process that begins when you envision peace. Without the envisioning, we can't get there. With the envisioning, we will always get there. Do you believe that? I do, and I've observed it happening over and over. So start envisioning peace, and then we'll go into the process of how you and I can make that happen. Uh, and facilitate that happening in your life privately and in our relationships and really on the world stage. So thank you, really uh, a very profound thank you for your interest in either extending your talent as a peacemaker or learning for the first time how to be a peacemaker. Happy envisioning, fellow peacemaker.